Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Obukuro Nariaki debut album Burina no Natsu. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the album and if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Obukuro Nariaki is someone you might know from the featuring on Utada Ikaru's song Tomodachi on her album Phantom released two years ago. And last year it was announced that Nariaki would release his debut album under the same music label as Utada Ikaru and she would be producing the album as well. I think that many until Tomodachi happened, I had no idea who Nariaki was and when the album announcement was out, I was wondering how this album would shape to be. But what I noticed right away from the album is that his sound reminded me of another singer called Bumi, and especially a third album, AB, which I reviewed a year and a half ago, and turns out after I did some digging, Nariaki was actually the producer of the album, so everything just made a lot of sense. Now, about this album. I knew many of us, when we heard that Utara Ikaru was going to be the producer on this one, we wonder how much we would feel her personal touch on it. And if I have to be honest, if I never knew she was involved in the first place, I don't think I would have guessed. And after I checked the writing credits, outside of the song where she is featured Lonely One, where she has composing and writing credits along Nariaki, most of the album is very much an album written and composed by Nariaki himself, and he has quite an interesting musical message to pass through this album. And this album, musically speaking, feels more like a kind of experimental type of pop-ish album. There's an interlude, two spoken songs, and it felt more like a journey of an album, but my god, it is a beautifully crafted one. I had a terrific time listening to this album. It is such a different one and yet every song on this one flows so well. It's also a very chilling album and it takes you through a very relaxing 15 minutes while never boring you and I was entertained and fascinated by every piece from this one. Even a track like 10, 11, 17 at El Camino de Santiago, where it is literally just Nariaki talking while walking made me so relaxed. He has such a soothing voice, even when he doesn't sing, and this album just made me want to hang out with him and talk about life while going on a hike together. And I never felt that way about any album ever, but I love this new feeling. When it comes to his singing, there isn't much to say outside of how amazing he sounds no matter what. Especially the high notes are quite impressive, and in general his voice is just really nice. Highlights for me were hard to pick as I truly enjoyed myself on every track from this album, but if I had to pick some favorites here, I would say Lonely One featuring Utada Ikaru, obviously, but also little gems like Saikai and Game. Burina no Natsu is the album that plays at a coffee shop while you are cozy, drinking a nice cup of tea, and you are just enjoying the present and the moment, and when you hear the first notes, you immediately pay attention to it. It is an impressive debut that not only shows a strong creative mind, but also soothed my soul and made me feel like forgetting all of my worries for a little while. This album is terrific from beginning to end, it feels so different yet so familiar at the same time, and I know I'm going to listen to this one for a while, and that is why I gave it 5 stars. Thank you for watching, don't forget to tell me what you think of the album down below and I'll see you next time!